our former way of life was reset, and we all had to accept and adapt to a new and very unfamiliar routines. As you all know, to protect our children and to secure their future, we took them out of school. Similarly, we had to shy away from places of worship in order to preserve the believers, their families, their neighbors. And for the love of our elderly, we also had to forego visits to our elderly relatives in order to show them true love by caring for their lives. This has been the unfamiliar and uncomfortable new order for the last 15 months, not just here in Kenya, but globally. As a country, we have adapted to the new normal with grace and resilience, and for this I thank Kenya. Terms that look remote and far from our reach became our normal. The mention of curfew elicited anxiety and lockdown uncertainty. And over these 15 months, we have learned to anticipate COVID-related shock and to forestall its impact with speedy action. On our part, the government has provided swift policy actions and bold decisions whenever a COVID-related threat was detected. But our resilience as a nation against this pandemic is not just a governmental affair. The people of Kenya have also exercised a very admirable degree of civic responsibility in this fight. Indeed, Kenyans have taken the civic duty of protecting themselves, their families, and our country against this pandemic, and they have done so positively. Without your exercise of civic responsibility and duty, government's swift response would have amounted to nothing. And for this, I once again thank all my fellow Kenyans. For the last 15 months, COVID took us to a state of uncertainty in unfamiliar territory that was compounded by a series of dilemmas that pitted a choice between lives and livelihoods. But today I'm happy to note that a path out of this uncertainty is beginning to emerge and the emerging path has two sides to it. The first is a challenge, and the second is an opportunity that has a promise.